Yeah, I think uh, Andrew has one for us. He says, my question relates to the laptop battery management app Al Dente by App House Kitchen and whether it's worth installing. Or is it better to rely on Apple's own battery health management? Both claim to improve battery longevity by allowing the battery to discharge and waiting till you need it to fully charge it. The theory behind not leaving the battery charged at 100% is not in question, just whether Al Dente does it better. I've read online conflicting reports by users. Some say it has preserved battery health. Some say it made no difference. And some say it made their battery worse. Well, that's super helpful. <laughs> the problem is that if a person has only one MacBook Pro, it's impossible to know whether Al Dente was helpful or not and or useless or harmful. It's hardly a controlled experiment. Any wisdom you can provide would be really appreciated. Uh, so I can, I can double your set of anecdotal evidence, Andrew, because I do, I have two laptops that I manage uh, here in the, 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 the Hamilton household. I mean, there's more, my kids both have them, but they manage their own laptops mostly. But, um, my laptop is not my daily driver. It is one that I use clearly here when I'm traveling. I also use it on the couch. I probably do use it every day, but it is not my primary machine. And then my wife has a laptop that she has made her primary machine when she's at her desk. It is plugged in to monitors and keyboards and all those things. And then when we travel, she just grabs it and takes it with her, which she really likes. But hers is certainly at, greater risk of battery overcharging because it's plugged in all the time, except for when we travel. And that's a really bad time to find out that you've done terrible things to your battery right before you go on a trip. So on hers, I, I use Al Dente on hers and I have it set to stop the battery from charging at 70%. It, so that it, it, it I don't know how the magic works, but even though it's plugged in, the Mac says, no, I'm done charging. It's 70%. And Al Dente is doing that. Apple's tech doesn't let you be that um, restrictive about things. It's, it's a little more fluid in the way that it manages stuff. And I feel better using Al Dente to stop it at 70. And then of course I can set it before we go on a trip, you know, we, we change it and say, okay, now let it go to a hundred and it'll charge up to a hundred and, and do it for the trip. And then when the trip's over, you, uh, you know, we pull it back. So I can say that on hers battery longevity has been good. And I can also say that on my laptop without running Al Dente, battery longevity has been good. I don't know if this is helpful. I think this is the problem, right? There, there is no, as far as I know, and uh, maybe the folks at App House Kitchen, when they hear this, will have more things to say, but I, I don't know of any truly long-term controlled experiments other than the wide set of users using Al Dente as one big uh, data set. But I don't, I don't know if or what type of data App House Kitchen collects on on that if there's any sort of aggregated data. Uh, so, so I can tell you that I basically use my laptop like a desktop, and it's in. I think we I mentioned it's an old Intel machine, uh, 2019 MacBook Pro, okay. I think. Yep. 16 inch, if I'm remembering the year right. Um, but I leave mine plugged in all the time, and I can tell you my battery life has been obliterated basically so yeah. uh, it's yeah it's a 16 inch 2019 macbook pro now my here's my question because um i went to check battery health and apple says it's normal um it's definitely not normal <laughs> like if i unplug that thing it will last i'm lucky if i get an hour, hour out of it probably hour and a oh. half yeah. <laughs> and I'm not doing anything heavy. I'm not, you know, it's like, so I know it's, I know it needs a new battery. I mean, age of it also, it just needs a new battery. It's freaking 2019 sure. machine, right? Yeah, um, right. But it, the battery has been destroyed for a long time. So I just, I always use a plugged in, so it doesn't matter. So I can say that. My question is, 
is the Apple's battery management, because I went into the battery settings, I looked at options, I don't see that I have any option to limit. Is it just automatic, supposedly, that Apple's managing your battery life, and that's why we need a tool like El Dente? Um, c- kind of. It It's different for every Mac. Okay, um, that's, that was, okay. Yeah, that, that battery preference pane it evolves, it adapts to whatever type of Mac you have and what battery smarts are in it. But I have seen, we have all seen options go away 